What up, this is Ramashkin covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Rodney Dangerfield's Back to School. Oh, <laughs> oh excuse me. Phew. Sorry, what I meant to say was, here's my review of Netflix new movie, Senior Year. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramashkreen. That's patreon.com slash ramashkreen. Let's rock this. Okay, so is Senior Year generic? Yes. Is the humor a hit and miss? Oh, absolutely yes. Especially the fish out of water stuff. Oh, what is this, an iPhone? Oh, what is this social media? I mean, come on, it's not like she's Captain America frozen in ice for 70 years, she's. But I'm gonna be honest with you, Rebel Wilson does have her charms. I mean, I'd be lying if I said some of her shenanigans in this movie did not entertain me because they kinda did. And yes, that includes the Britney Spears You Drive Me Crazy music video parody, which I thought was quite nicely done. Look, senior year may not be the best comedy of the year, but it has a sort of National Lampoon vibe to it which I appreciate. This is a movie that you might enjoy only when there's no other option available. Written by Andrew Nauer and Arthur Pielli and Brandon Scott Jones and directed by Alex Hardcastle, in senior year, after a cheerleader falls off a pyramid and into a 20-year coma, she wakes up as a 37-year-old woman, ready to return to high school, regain her status, and claim the prom queen crown that eluded her. Oddly enough, the best moments in this movie involve Rebel Wilson and Sam Richardson. Their characters are old friends, and Sam basically has always had a crush on her. So while everything about that arc is predictable, Sam and Rebel made it work. And even Sam steals a few chuckle-worthy scenes here and there. You see, some folks might talk about Rebel's drastic weight loss. I personally don't care about that. Rebel has always been the type of star who'd go the distance just for the laughs, but here she also shows some emotional chops which is a pleasant surprise. Fun fact, I was a senior in high school in the late 90s, so I get it. If I were to wake up from a coma 20 years later today, I too would experience a culture shock. The thing is, in the process of being a commentary on how high school social life has changed or could change for the better, the story inadvertently points out how some of those changes kinda suck. So that right there is what makes me think, you know what? This ain't so bad after all, despite the jokes being not consistently funny. And all of a sudden, flashes of Romy and Michelle's high school reunion come rushing through my brain again as I was watching Senior Year. Listen, not sure if you could say that Senior Year will do for Rebel Wilson what School of Rock did for Jack Black for example. Maybe the jury's still out on whether or not this movie would have been the same had it starred anybody else. But Rebel uses every trick from her arsenal to make this bearable, and that counts for something. 